There has been uh, some research looking at how different uh, cultural groups respond to education, you know, the way maybe Asian parents versus Latino parents. Um, and there are perceptions out there that uh, Latino parents may opt out of involvement with the school. There is deep respect for education within the Latino community. And so many times parents will feel, particularly because they may not speak English, you're the expert. They have such respect for you that they feel you're the expert. I really have to let you handle my child's education. And what I enjoy are the teachers and librarians who say, oh no, you know, we're partners in this. I need you, you know. Your child needs you. And let me talk about specific strategies, you know. Here are the things you can do. You can say, read me that book in English. Read me that book in English, and I'm going to listen. And after you read it to me in English, I'm going to have you tell me about it in Spanish, you know. And by working with parents, and this can be, you know, whether we're talking about Appalachia or whether we're talking about rural South Texas or whether we're talking about inner city San Francisco, we are often working with parents who may not have a literacy tradition. And so we talk about how can you do this? What those of us know how to do, because we grew up in homes where people did it. What I want us to do is to let that eddy out, you know, to really let the, the power of language and the power of literacy and the power of reading, you know, spread through the energy that we invest in working with these families that I think are ready to help if we can give them some concrete um, strategies and ideas and fun projects, you know, that they can do. Um, I've seen schools that are having parents and children write their books together. And it doesn't matter what languages they're using. The school is there to work on developing English skills. We all want students to be able to read, write, and speak English well. You cannot actively participate in the public life of the United States without that skill. I want that for every student. But I also want them to realize that their home language is a gift. I always tell them that, you know, I am lucky to be bilingual. I wish I were trilingual. We're cheating ourselves if we don't realize that these parents can be our teachers and our students' teachers and bring them into the classroom and involve them. And my experience is that they just glow when that happens. I saw a group of parents talk about the fact that they would get together with a teacher and they would study a book in Spanish and then they would decorate the school with posters that they were making. And then they would go present those books in the classes. And to see those parents saying, you know, I'm part of this school. My art is up in the halls. I'm helping my student learn, you know. So the myth that somehow Latino parents um, can't be invited in and can't be active and excited members of the school community is a dangerous myth. And uh, I think we need to put it to rest and, and be busy building those bridges.